the moment we are born as human beings, somehow our lives got complicated. If we had come here as any other creature on this planet, life would be very simple. Eating, sleeping, reproducing and dying one day. Now we have to do all those things but somehow where you are right now, wherever you may be, is not enough, isn't it? You want to be little more than what you are right now. If you know only money, maybe you are thinking of little more money. If you know only pleasure, maybe little more pleasure. Power, little more power. Everybody is wanting to be little more than what they are right now. The process of desiring is continuously going on. Whether you are going to work or you are going to the bar or you are going to the temple or you are getting married or you are having children, you are studying in a university, all this effort of life, Everything was in pursuit of happiness, is it so? In the last hundred years, with the use of science and technology, we have this changed the very face of this planet. To to the Today we have the kind of comforts and conveniences that no other generation could ever even imagine. We are definitely the most comfortable generation ever on this planet, is it so? But are we also the most joyful generation? So it's not worked. Every creature, from plant to animal to everything, including human beings, have paid an enormous price to create these comforts and conveniences and we are not even happy. What is the point? We have engineered the world today in many ways so that it functions better for us, isn't it? We have done nothing about ourselves. It's time to really look at it, isn't it? In the last twenty-four hours, how many moments of joy have you known? When you were five years of age, a child, how many moments of joy did you know in twenty-four hours? The whole equation has gotten reversed somehow. It doesn't matter where you are, you are sitting in a palace or in heaven, but your inner situation is not good, it doesn't matter, isn't it? This mind could have been a source of ecstasy, but this mind has become a source of misery for most people, tension, anxiety, depression, why? You just don't know how to handle it, isn't it? See, there's only one problem with your life. Life is not happening the way you think it should happen, that's the only problem. Is there any other problem? <laughs> Nobody around you will happen hundred percent your way, isn't it so? Yes? Nobody happens your way, it's okay. The problem is, this one is not happening your way, that is the problem, isn't it? People have concluded that stress is a part of their life. Stress is not a part of your life, it is just that you do not know how to manage your body, you do not know how to manage your mind, you do not know how to manage your emotions or your life energies. Everything is happening accidentally. So if things happen your way, you have begun to understand in the world that you have to engineer it. The same with you. No inner engineering has been done for you, isn't it? Just by accident you're trying to happen. Now I'm talking about creating the right kind of chemistry within you where to be peaceful and blissful is just natural to you. <laughs>